Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can use the divide function within the Power BI. So Power BI uh, divide function is helpful in scenarios whenever we want to divide one value by another and that's a very common scenario because for let's say the ratio calculation or finding uh, various different measures are you know you need to divide the value one value by another for finding the percentages averages and things like those so divide is a very useful function that you will going to use a lot whenever you are producing any report or dashboard and i want to show you how you can produce the uh, result out of the divide function and as well as explain it its additional feature which is helpful in case you find an errors all right so before that, just a quick information that I have three links within the description. First is the, the data set link. Second is your uh, link of all the Power BI tutorials within a spreadsheet where a title and the respective link is given so that if you want to look at a specific video, you can quickly search instead of searching here on the YouTube, which is quite difficult. And the third link is basically another report, interactive report, which is the Google Data Studio report. If you want to search for tutorials uh, across my channels, I have more than 900 videos right now. So searching for anything specific topic like Tableau, Click, Google Data Studio, Python, you will find it over there. All right. So now let's go ahead and uh, create the or utilize the divide function. All right. So what do we want to do? So over here in the previous videos, we have created the total sales using this sum function. And what I have requested or what I have suggested you as in homework is the total profit, right? I'm sure that you must have created it because it's pretty straightforward and similar to the total sales. Now, what we want to look at is the profit ratio, right? So what, what does it mean? So profit ratio is, Right now on 32,000, this 32,000, I'm making a profit of 8,400. For 2,762, I'm making a profit of 1128. Similarly for 49,000, uh, you know, 49,000, yeah, 419, I'm making a profit of 540. So from figures, you can only make an assumption up to a certain extent. But if a ratio or a profit ratio is there, then you can clearly see for which particular subcategory you are you are having the highest profit irrespective of how much sales or profit it is coming the percentage gives a pretty clear picture in the, instead of the absolute values all right so how we can do that well for that we will go to new measure so new measure and then we will say give it a name profit ratio after profit ratio equals to divide and we will have numerator which will be total profit sorry so total profit and total sales is basically two things so what we want first is the total sales divided by total profit so you will not use the forward slash or the divide sign but you will going to use total sales comma now the denominator which is the total profit right and the important here is the alternate result so alternate result is uh, is basically useful in scenarios if you have zeros in a denominator what happens if you have a zero as a dominant denominator you will get an infinity as an output or in some uh, programming language you have for example in excel you have divide by zero error so to reduce that what you can specify any alternate result if you will not specify it will give you blank so i will say zero right oops i will just come here at the start all right um and then we will going to click okay so once we are here our profit ratio measure is calculated or is created now i need to select this table and once the table is selected what you have is the profit ratio over here right and yeah so i did one mistake uh, earlier i was doing it correctly it should be profit by sales i don't know why i did that 
so this will be total profit and then we will specify the total sales i just made it pause it if i click ok you will see then the right ratio so this divided by this gives you 0.26 that means your profit ratio is 26 percent so where is the highest here you have 41 percent for 2007 2762 sales you are making a profit of 1128 so that's why it is 41 percent is the is the second highest i think the first one is here 45 percent and then the 42 percent so clearly you are now able to understand with the help of the profit ratio is for the those subcategories where you are making the highest profit as compared to the lowest profit so for example here for the machines you are just making a one percent of profit for forty nine thousand close to fifty thousand of sales you are making a 500 rupees or 500 dollar profit so that means it's just one percent so definitely something worth looking at maybe by management as to is this really worth going towards or not as compared to where you are having 45 percent profit 42 percent profit or 41 percent profit so it, this basically calculation makes it actionable um, in actionable metric for you if you are showing it in a uh, dashboard or visualization and that's something all the time management is coming back to you and asking it you know create this new calculation or create this new measure because it is driving some action and insights for them so that's very quickly how you can create the divide so if you want to let's say sometime uh, you know in future you want to edit it you just need to click it over here and the formula screen will come where you can go ahead and make the changes similarly if you want to rename this profit ratio what you can do is you can click on these three ellipses which is coming and then click on rename delete or hide if you want to you know just hide it so that's very quickly i wanted to show you how you can create the profit ratio over here now what you can do is uh, probably you can take uh, two homework one is uh, you create uh, uh, quantity by quantity by sale so total sales divided by the quantity what you may need to create is the total quantity as a as a uh, measure first and then divide uh, total sales by quantity and then total profit by quantity just in uh, just you know so that you can practice this but this is a very helpful function and i would suggest instead of using that forward slash you use this because here you have the additional feature of dividing by zero if it happens then what should we do i specified zero you can specify whatever you want and you will get the right output so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic